My name is Tim Sutinen from privacyproshop.com. In this video, I'll show you how to install LokiNet on Linux Mint the best way, how to modify DNS to make it work with LokiNet, and how to get yourself a LokiNet VPN connection going. At this time, November of 2023, Linux Mint version 21.2 is the latest stable version of Linux Mint, and it is based on Ubuntu 22.04. The most recent version of LokiNet is 0.9.0. 11. First, we need to open deb.oxen.io with your favorite web browser and follow the instructions there to set up the Oxen repository and install LokiNet. Run these commands in your terminal. You can just copy and paste them from the web page. The first command downloads the public signing key for the repository. The second command sets up the repository in sources.list and it needs some modification for Linux Mint because Mint uses its own nicknames for the different versions rather than using Ubuntu's naming scheme. Linux Mint 21.2 is called Victoria, whereas Ubuntu 22.04 is Jammy. Change the variable lsb underscore release to be just Jammy, like this. The third command reads the contents of the new repository. Then install LokiNet with this command. Once the install completes, you'll need to make one edit to make LokiNet GUI work. Use your favorite text editor. And once you're done with the edits, save the file. You'll need to also make some changes to your DNS to make it work with LokiNet. Click on the network icon in the taskbar tray. Choose the connection you're using to connect to the internet. In my case, it says wired. Click on the gear icon, click IPv4, then click the DNS automatic toggle switch to off. In the server box, type in 127.3.2.1. Click apply, then turn off the connection and click it back on. That will reread the new configuration. Then back in the terminal, ping your favorite LokiNet site to make sure LokiNet works. For instance, you can try nemomail.loki. Nemomail is an anonymous email service over LokiNet by Privacy Pro Shop. Check it out at privacyproshop.com. Now you should have a functioning LokiNet connection. Now onto using LokiNet VPN. First, open privacyproshop.com with your favorite web browser. Choose LokiNet VPN connection, click select options, choose either the one month or two day access, and click add to cart. Pay for the purchase with a credit card or with various cryptocurrencies. Once the purchase completes, Scroll down on the page and you will see the LokiNet exit node password and the available LokiNet exit node addresses. If you provided an email address, you will receive an email with the same information. If you didn't provide an email address, please save this information from this screen. Next, open the LokiNet GUI app, paste the exit node address to the exit node field, and also paste the LokiNet exit node password to the auth code field and click connect. The connection should turn green once it's ready. You can click on the chart tab to see information about the connection speeds and such. Then make sure your connection is going over LokiNet. Open ipinfo.io. Verify that the IP address shows as being in Phoenix, Arizona, Amsterdam, or Montreal, Quebec, depending on which one of the exit nodes you connected to. Often restarting LokiNet helps with problems. I usually do the restart with the command line command of sudo systemctl restart LokiNet. Or you can just click on the big on off switch in the LokiNet GUI app. That's all she wrote. If you're interested in LokiNet, Session Messenger, cryptocurrencies, or other open source software, please check out some of the other videos on this channel. If you have questions, send me a message on Session, the most private messaging system on the planet. My username is Privacy Pro Shop. And as always, have a happy day.